Mitt Romney became CEO of Bain Capital the day the company was formed. His mission? To reap massive rewards for himself and his investors. Romney took foreign seed money from Latin America and began a pattern exploiting dozens of American businesses. I feel that is the man that destroyed us. The only thing missing from that is help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Because of Mitt Romney. I mean, my goodness, that was... You're listening to your Healthy Radio Addiction, the Laura Ingram Show, on a Monday. Tomorrow is the New Hampshire primary, and uh, we are going to be talking later on to Tucker Carlson. The Daily Caller has been doing terrific reporting throughout this uh, political season, and Tucker's going to join us to give us his thought on where conservatism shakes out in all of this. And then Dan Mitchell, I ran into him at the Fox and Makeup Room last week, and we started talking about the VAT tax. This is what I do for fun. The value-added tax, because Mitt Romney has not ruled out the value-added tax. As far as I can tell, nobody brought that up in these debates. Why is nobody bringing up the value-added tax? Why, why, why? I told Rick Santorum, you have to bring this up, and he said he would. Then he doesn't bring it up. That's a disaster for our country to become, to add one more layer of taxation onto things. Joining us now, I'm delighted he's with us, Rick Tyler, who uh, is heading up the Super PAC, Winning Our Future, that is responsible for this new scorcher of an ad. We saw the three-minute uh, verge on uh, YouTube this morning, and Rick Tyler joins us now. Rick, how are you? I'm doing well, Laura. I'm glad to be with you. Uh, so I was watching uh, one of the Sunday shows. I mean, they all meld into one at some point, and I was watching old David Axelrod, who was you know out there. You know, he reminds me of that Mr. Whipple, that charming uh, guy who squeezes the toilet paper all the time. But he was out there talking about one of the uh, your guys' competitors out there on the campaign trail. Let's listen. They closed down more than a thousand plants, stores, uh, and offices. They outsourced tens of thousands uh, of jobs, and they took 12 companies to bankruptcy. Uh, and on those bankruptcies, he and his partners made hundreds of millions of dollars. He says, this is the real economy. This is the model for the country. I don't think those are the values that people want to animate our, our economy. He is not a job creator. He is a corporate raider. Doesn't that sound a lot like your uh, ad that you just put out? And that's David Axelrod, Obama's top guy. Well, I mean, people have to draw the conclusion for themselves. I mean, when they when we release the movie soon, they'll be able to see. But Mitt Romney was engaged in uh, what I would call uh, not free enterprise or free market. We defend free enterprise and free market. We extol its virtues right at the beginning of the movie. And what we were saying is this is not free enterprise or free market. This is, uh, frankly, predatory uh, corporate mugging. Uh, where where you take uh, and look at companies that are that are weak, look at their assets. For instance, GSI and in, in, in the steel company down in South Carolina. Uh, all those co- all those employees were they lost uh, pensions or had their pensions reduced? They lost their jobs. They lost their insurance, and those jobs are, are gone. Yet the Bain investors made a hundred million, hundred and seventy million dollars off of that deal. Now, where someone is has a pension and they lose that pension that's a p- pension is what you're promised when you get in retirement and they, they lose that pension and a bunch of investors uh... from boston reap a hundred seventy million dollars uh, some people might call that free enterprise i just call it wrong I, I that is not the free enterprise in the sense that bernie marcus believes in free enterprise who built home depot or fred smith who built fedex or jack wells who built ge or stephen jobs who built have Apple. they all signed on have they all basically given their imprimatur to your take on capitalism and your ad i'd love because i know i know bernie and i know no. Ken go and those guys i'd love I, to know, hear what they know. say about this you, ad you, you ought to ask him. You well, you're citing them. Whoa, 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 Rick, Rick, Rick. You're citing them. You're kind of throwing their names out like, as if they kind of gave their big old thumbs up to this ad. I didn't and, say that, and, Laura. And, what, and, what I said was I was pointing out is the type of capitalism that people understand, which is you build a product or a service the best you can build, and you bless people with that property or service, and they bless you by giving money in return. This is not what this is about. But I think it actually gets more to the issue that Mitt Romney has gone around the country and said that he's a job creator, and the record is against that. And this this video answers that question. He's not, he, he was not a job creator. He claimed the other night in, in, in the in debate where he said he was learning how to create jobs. Well, he's killed tens of thousands of jobs, and he said he created net, net 100,000 jobs. And I'll give him that. Maybe he did create 100,000 jobs. But they weren't American jobs. They were Mexican jobs or South, Southeast Asian jobs, because that's where the jobs went, and that's where the equipment that he bought and sold off went. Well, the 
when I think about the issue of investment in companies, right? I mean, you need companies uh, to have investors, and oftentimes there will be people who come in and look at a company's makeup or look at the look at the bottom line, and there will be a reorganization of the company. Even Newt Gingrich acknowledged sure. that, I believe, and, and you guys did that in the ad. But my, I guess what I would say to you is, what is your what is your uh, solution for this? If if the corporate raider philosophy and the corporate mugging, as you call it, is this you know an anathema to true free market uh, principles, then would the, should the government have a regulatory framework in place that prevents this? I, I'll I'll leave that to the Harvard business school economists to figure out. There are lots of uh, corporate takeover and merger managers, and they take over companies, but they are not running for president. And they are not running for president under the under this imprimatur of free market and capitalism and job creation. And this movie simply points out that if Mitt Romney wants to say he created, created net net 100 jobs, 89,000, which he concludes at Staples, which all occurred after Bain had left Staples. So Bain uh, had they, no role in that? You're, that's your point of view? Bain had absolutely no... I think, no... I, think Bain, I think Bain had an initial role in that, and, and, and that's a good thing. But the, the patterns seem to be predatory. They would go around like scavengers and look at assets of companies, of companies that were working fine, that... like, right, like Unimac in, in uh, Florida, like um, uh, DDI, like uh, KB Toys, which is doing fine before the Bain boys showed up. And his reign at Bain, over and over again, just uh, show, will demonstrate that he took assets out of the company, put them out of business, sent their jobs overseas. So when Mitt Romney, when you, people worry about manufacturing jobs that go overseas, and I've heard Mitt Romney talk about this, you know, he wants manufacturing in the United States. If you're wondering why they've left the United States, you have no longer further look than Mitt Romney. Now, you, I'm so, not saying so you it's think, illegal. No, no, but, okay, but it's, it's a bit confusing to me. And look, I'm not a... I'm, I'm not an economist, and you say you're, you know, you're not an economist. You leave that to the, you know, the economists out there to say what formula would be in place to stop this. Because I think of Newt Gingrich, and you know, I'm a big fan of Gingrich's, as you know, and I think of him as a solutions guy. Right. And and he he's a guy who comes in. And he said this is a problem, and I want to impart my thought the thought process to try to figure out a solution. And I've known Newt since about 1994, 1993. I think the first time I met him. Right. I've never heard Newt Gingrich, in my mind, I've never heard him give a speech about predatory practices and companies that really encompass this type of ad and this type of well, look, you know, problem the, that you're laying out. So is that, has that been a constant in his repertoire that I've missed? Because it seems like this has just popped up in the, in the Newt, on the Newt menu. Well, you know what's popped up is I've, I've received stacks and reams of opposition research on Mitt Romney from taxpayer-funded abortion or Romney care down in Massachusetts to his flip-flops on abortion saying he would defend Roe v. Wade. Now he, uh, now he says he's against Roe v. Wade on his flip-flops on defending marriage, on his flip-flops and, and raising taxes. Right, but why not go marriage? after him on the VAT okay, okay. tax? Like, why focus well, that, on... Why that, focus and on... you're exactly right, but, but Laura, n- how much do you know about Mitt Romney's 20 years of Bain? Well, I'm just, I've just read the Wall Street Journal piece. I mean, I'm not, I'm not that, in a position of, it, I don't have 15 you? staffers who can do, you know, but, research but on it, every company but, acquisition. I, no, I understand that, but I'm not, I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying, doesn't it shock you that he's been running for six years, he's got 20 years at Bain, and the only thing we know about him at Bain is what he tells us? Are we really going to accept that as a vetting? You know, you, you once uh, went after Harriet Myers, uh, rightfully so, courageously so, because she hadn't been properly vetted. You turned out to be right on that. And you said you say that Barack Obama wasn't properly vetted. Why in the world are we, why are we letting the Northeastern establishment say that Mitt Romney doesn't need, need to be vetted on I'm Bain? just, hey, hey, you're, you're, you're vetting him. I think it's perfectly, I think it's perfectly okay, legitimate we're for all we're you guys to, to be substantive. My, my point here, though, is... Are you concerned beyond the job that you have right now? You've been hired to run a super PAC, and and Newt Gingrich has lost an enormous amount of ground. I told him three, four weeks ago he needed to start hitting Romney if he was going to make this an interesting race. He he blew me off. He basically said, "Look, Laura, I'm going to be positive," and I said, "Okay, well, let's see how that works out for you after after all these ads come down the pike at you." And it turned out it didn't work out so well. well but are you not concerned when when Mr. Bennett, who is responsible for for this? ad, when he put this ad together, he said this is going to be basically a field day for David Axelrod, that this will help David Axelrod. Do you, are you, you don't have any hesitation about, about getting behind this type of broadside against uh, Mitt Romney when that's, and according okay, to Mr. Bennett, that's going to help follow, David Axelrod. Let, let's, let's follow your model. Let's, let's not 
vet Mitt Romney. I didn't Let's say go, not to no, vet no, no, him. No, no, I asked okay. you a question, Rick, and you right. seem not to want to answer. I didn't. I didn't even implicate you. All, the point is, I'm saying is that Mitt Romney hasn't been vetted on on Bain. I, I think if he gets to the general election, he's not vetted on Bain. I don't think David Axelrod and the Occupy Wall Street movement is going to give him a pass on Bain. And no, if I he agree. can survive, if he can survive this. Uh, and explain to the American people what his real role at Bain, what they actually did, and if he can show us, because he's an analytical guy, he's driven by numbers, how, you know, show us how you created the hundred million, uh, the hundred thousand jobs. Where are those jobs? Are they, are they American jobs? If you can prove that and he can get through it, then we will have lanced the boil, and he will be a much stronger nominee in the fall. But if we do not vet him on twenty years of unknown activity at, ba- at Bain, uh, the, the Obama administration, that's. You know, you think this Occupy Wall Street movement by, by a, a, a community organizer is, is not... This is the purpose of this whole Occupy Wall Street movement. They're getting ready to run against Mitt Romney and Bain. And I'm just saying, we don't know enough about Mitt Romney and Bain. 20 years of Bain, we don't do know you anything. Think, do you think that from what you've seen, and I'm, you know, the Wall Street Journal, they point out uh, that, look, there, there'll be things in their analysis of the 72 uh, transactions that they looked at that help... Mitt Romney and that help his detractors, help his competitors. He's, they, they said, look, there's, there's good and there's bad. And you would acknowledge that an investment, some investment, private investment works, some of it doesn't. Some of, some of it right. is successful, some of That's it doesn't. Right. And you right. would probably concede then that Mitt Romney had some fairly impressive successes in investment in returning investment to oh, uh, no the underlying shareholders it. and he so made, forth. He made a huge amount of money for his investors. My Not just for himself, for the ultimate employees of companies like Staples. They actually ended up being able to have jobs and see expansion in their own sectors, in their own communities, as a result of, of what Bain did. And it doesn't mean Bain did everything right. I would agree with this analysis. There, you know, you go around and you're going to say you're created 100,000 jobs. Okay, you so should, we have, be, we you have, should be expected to, to back that up. And he's going to have to back that up. He's going to have to back it up, but we, we have Staples, that's fine. But we also have Unimac in Mariana, Florida, failure. We also have GS Steel in South Carolina. Now, clear failure. Channel Communications. We, you have uh, American we, we, Pad uh, and Paper, right? And, and Pad, it, right. It goes, the list goes on. In fact, there's not a single state that wasn't a victim of, of a Romney corporate raid. And my point mm-hmm. is is that when the corporate raiders came in, they didn't build wealth and value in the company in the sense that they're building a product or a service for people to buy. They were going in and taking the assets, firing the employees, taking the pensions, and pocketing the money. That's very different, in my opinion, than free enterprise. And I'm not going to defend it. Right. So, so again, the type of expose being done on this... Will we see a similar type of expose on Romney Care, which I think is more in the minds of, of folks out there, and also VAT tax and those kinds of issues? Will we be seeing that as well? I think we will be seeing that, but but people are very curious about Bain because Bain has not been vetted, and, and mm-hmm. people seem to be very interested in his activity at Bain. And this is not anti-capitalism, not free market. I'm a free market guy. I'm a, I'm a capitalist. I think small business owners in this country and people in business are the unsung heroes of America. They're, those are the people who keep the economy going. If we could just get the administration regulation and taxes out of their way, this country mm-hmm. would explode in prosperity. Now, you mentioned Newt Gingrich. You know, when he was Speaker, he had 11, created 11 million new jobs, paid off $405 billion worth of debt, and balanced the budget four years in a row. Well, That's he, are you okay? I agree. I, I mean, look, I've been... I've touted Newt Gingrich's record consistently on have. the show, and I think it's, you know, for people to say that he can be blown off as some, oh, he's not a real conservative. Okay, you know, how many how many other people have, have been Speaker of the House and had his success record? Not many. Okay, so I've, I've made that clear, but I'd be careful before you say he created 11 million jobs. I mean, no, no, no. The, you know, 11 million his, jobs were created, 11 million jobs were created right. while he was Speaker. I'm not, I'm saying the no, business people in this country did that. But now we need to know, what's, what Mitt Romney's real record? He's saying his real mm-hmm. record is 100,000 jobs. Show me. 